Hello everyone, great to have your company on Kalkine TV. I'm Rose Jacobs and you're watching Buzzing Trends. Today we'll be looking at how 2022 is treating Australia's four big banks so far. Australian shares haven't had a good start to the year. The benchmark ASX 200 index fell below the psychological support level of, of 7,000 to hit 6,769.2, the lowest level since April 2021. With the market bleeding heavily for the last few sessions, the Australian financial space, especially the banking sector, has also taken a hit. The ASX 200 banks, which comprise of seven companies from the benchmark ASX 200 classified as members of the banks industry, has fallen 5.69% this year to 2,438. But how are Australia's big four banks faring amid this continuous selling spree? Let's have a look at these four ASX banking stocks and their share price performance so far this year. First to look at is Australia and New Zealand Banking Group. Melbourne headquartered ANZ Bank has a market capitalisation of $75.37 or $75.37 billion rather and is one of the largest financial institutions in the country. ANZ shares have been on the decline for the last few sessions having shed 5.96% in the last five trading sessions. The volatility in the stock price has also spiked as its 14-day average true range has risen to $0.61, the highest since, since March of 2021. Average true range depicts the daily average move in a stock. However, there is a strong support around Australian 26.3 to $26.6 dollars on the charts, which has kept the stock from falling since March last year. The stock is currently trading at $27.06 per share. Moving on to the next stock, Commonwealth Bank of Australia. Commonwealth Bank, also known as ComBank, is a Sydney-based banking giant. It is the largest bank of Australia in terms of market capitalisation, which stands at $162.87 billion AU. The pandemic does not seem to have impacted the bank significantly as ComBank clocked revenue worth $24.5 billion and a net profit of $10.18 billion in financial year 21. However, the bank shares haven't been able to resist the market-wide selling and fell in response. On Tuesday, 25th of January, Combank stock fell 2.04%, with the highest one-day volume for the year at over 5.8 million shares, depicting a wider market participa participation during the sell-off. The stock is currently trading at $93.77 per share. The third bank on the list, National Australia Bank, is a Melbourne-based financial institution. The bank reported a noticeable jump in the net profit to $6.36 or $6.36 billion in financial year 21 compared to a net profit of Australian $2.56 billion one year ago. The market capitalisation of NAB currently stands at $89.12 billion. NAB shares have also witnessed liquidation from investors' portfolios in 2022. The stock is hovering near the support level of $26.7 to $27 and has seen demand coming from the same level yesterday after it touched a low of $26.82. The stock is currently trading at $27.17 per share. The last bank on the list and the smallest of the lot, in fact, is Sydney headquartered Westpac Banking. Westpac also did quite well in financial year 21, clocking a two times increase in net profit to $5.46 billion as against a net profit of $2.29 billion in financial year 2020. It also declared a dividend of $1.18 per share, giving it a dividend yield of 5.83%. Coming to the stock performance, Westpac shares have continuously been falling since mid-January on increasing volumes. The stock has fallen 18.06% in the last six months and is currently trading at $20.10 per share. Well, that's it for now. We'll be back soon with our Buzzing Trends show to share the latest market insights with you. Till then, stay tuned with Calkine TV for more stock, business and economy-related hot trends.